excited to start it. We had a long weekend this past weekend because it was Memorial Day and I didn't do much this Memorial Day. We really honestly just hung around at home and I loved having an extra weekend day. It was so nice to just chill and relax and all that fun stuff. But I honestly kind of chilled a little too much last week and ended up not doing a lot. So that's what's inspiring this video. I want a very productive day, a productive week because I have so many things to catch up on or like it feels like to myself. So I'm gonna start getting ready because I have a couple work calls I have to do for my remote job in about 20 minutes or so. I decided to wake up a little earlier today just so I could have that time to kind of clean up the room, get ready. I am wanting a very productive day today, but I am not in the mood to be rushing through everything. I'm still very much gonna take my time, but just get a lot of things done in the meantime. After I get ready, I'm gonna go make some coffee, breakfast, and plan out my day because I need to make a to-do list or I get nothing done. And I think last week definitely proved that for me. I just kind of was like, I'm gonna wing it, I'll get stuff done, and I did not. So definitely one of my main goals is to start working out again. And I feel like I've said this so many times. I'm not there yet where I feel like working out is like super fun. I do it definitely for my health. To get me to even go out to do a walk, besides walking my dog or to go to the gym, I feel like I have to mentally prepare for that. It's not just like I'm looking forward to it. In my day so i want to change that habit for sure i need to change this habit of mine because i really need to start working out more i am unfortunately a very stationary person just because of work i work at home eight hours a day and then after work i typically switch to like business things or like filming so i am technically standing or maybe moving around a little bit but it's definitely not like the exercise i need every day so i literally cannot put on mascara without doing all of this i feel like that's like the best way to do it though because i just i don't care so it actually looks even enough kind of maybe what i've also noticed since like working at home and stuff is getting ready and just for me putting on like a little bit of makeup like trust me i am not very good at makeup and i don't want to do a lot usually when i'm at home so when i just do a little bit of makeup or just get ready i feel so much more productive already because i'm like tricking myself that i'm like going somewhere else even though i'm still staying at home and even if i am changing to something comfy like my crew i still feel like i am in a different outfit not pajamas so look at me giving all these productive tips as i'm like still trying to figure out how to be more productive in my life but trust me guys get dressed you'll feel much better so definitely one of the goals is working out again i don't think i need to go to the gym every day Day necessarily but i definitely want to like have a routine where it's like one day gym one day at home workout one day maybe like a hot girl walk around the neighborhood or something <laughs> so for business things i designed two new notepads which is so exciting and i just ordered those yesterday so i'm gonna be restocking my grocery list notepad and then adding in these two new notepads so it's gonna be kind of like a summer stationary drop so working out business things running errands kind of just getting my life a little bit more together also something really big that i think i'm gonna be doing in the next two weeks which you guys are the first to hear about because i'm not announcing it on my other socials until it happens is i'm gonna be making a public personal account which is for some people maybe not a big deal but for me is like a very big deal because i've only had public social for my business peach cream print so i've always posted like business related content but i feel like as the years have gone by there's almost like i've described this in like a previous video before but it's like there's an overlap where it's like i want to share like some personal like life things or just like outfits places i go but it almost just doesn't feel right yes i want my business page to be like me using my products showing the, like the apparel i made and stuff but then there's almost things i feel like wouldn't make sense to post on that like if i go on a vacation or something like that and then also that falls in line where i'm gonna be changing my youtube channel name from peach cream prince to just my name or whatever like my handle is for all my personal accounts so it'll be all like the same hopefully and that's something i need to start brainstorming too because if i'm already struggling to post every day for my business thing and then i also want to add on like a whole another three social media pages for my personal pages i definitely need to get better at scheduling and just like doing that like give myself an hour to not get distracted edit everything that's what i'm trying to figure out today too and like kind of brainstorm some of my like first posts on there and i'm really excited because i feel like it could bring a lot more opportunities and it also makes sense for like what direction i'm trying to go with my youtube channel so yeah i'm feeling very cute and very ready to get the day started i'm just gonna go make some coffee grab a planner plan out my day so let's get the day started Yeah. 
I posted a little short of this like a couple days ago, but I just want to show you guys on here because I am so excited with this. I have so many notepads because I design and make notepads and I've just been keeping them either like in a drawer or just like stacked on a like a little pile on my desk and it's so not organized. I went to Home Goods recently and I found like my dream desk organizer. Like I've been trying to look for something that's like simple and like will fit my space and I found it. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Here it is. A lot of things that I put in my room, it's like white, <laughs> very white, but I just feel like it looks clean. I was considering like painting it like a fun color so maybe let me know if I should but I think I kind of like it white because my notepads are pretty colorful the color comes from the notepads and like that's what I kind of wanted I wanted like the notepads to be like the star of the show with this but I think it's just so cute so then in the back these are the ones that I no longer sell on my website so I still use them but then these ones are my bigger notepads so i have like a weekly planner my monthly calendar which i need to update soon uh can you believe that it's already almost june crazy a student daily planner which i unfortunately cannot use anymore but if you are a student looking for a great planner i have a lot of them still and i loved using it when i was still in school and then my meal planner notepad which i should also honestly start using again some weeks i'm so good at like planning everything out and stuff and then there's weeks like last week where i did not really touch any of these my favorite small ones. I'm definitely gonna be using this for June, my habit tracker. And then of course, my favorite little daily planner. There it is. So this is the grocery list notepad that I'm gonna be restocking in a couple weeks. It's my only blue notepad, but I feel like it just really fits the collection very well. Like I said to you guys earlier, I'm bringing in two new notepads. They're gonna be both to-do lists. This is like my old to-do list. I made them in like two different color waves because I like to do that a lot with my products. Like if I like a design a lot, I'll just put it in a bunch of different colors. As you can see, they're pretty... <laughs> they've been pretty used by me. I love how they look, but I just didn't want to restock them because my style has changed since I made these. These came out. My first big notepad collection was January of 2023, so this is like an OG design. And if you guys like them, I could restock them. I am bringing in two new to-do lists, and they're different designs, so I love these. These are still just for me, but I know you guys are gonna love the new to-do list, just like I am. They're very summery, very fun. Just a little addition that I have for my desk. <laughs> If there's anything that needs to be known about me is that I love overnight oats. I literally can eat them every day. I love the taste of them. My stomach loves the taste of them. I can literally eat them every day. So unfortunately I didn't make any for today's breakfast. So I'm probably just gonna end up doing like avocado toast or just like yogurt and granola or something. But I wanted to show you guys how I make them because they're so easy and they actually are really tasty. They kind of remind me of like, kind of like an acai bowl as in like a way that you could add like a lot of toppings to just like the plain base. So let me show you guys how I make them. Okay, the lighting is a little rough here but it's okay i'm gonna make it work my oats i only use five ingredients it's really simple you need old-fashioned oats chia seeds your choice of milk i usually go with almond milk but i've been wanting to try it with oat milk so maybe next time any type of yogurt i just use greek yogurt because i like how it makes like the oats more creamy and then you just need a sweetener i always use agave but you could use something like honey or maple syrup i like to kind of batch a couple at a time just so I don't have to do it every day. So I do three fourths cup of oats and then I do the same ratio of milk. So that's what I always start with. It's definitely not spilling everywhere trying to do this. <laughs> about three fourths cup of oats. And I like to just kind of like look at them to see if they're about the same. I do like the same amount of oats and milk just because I like it to be a little bit more creamier. If you don't want your oats as thick, just add more milk. Okay, looks good. So after you got your oats and milk in, I just like to grab a tablespoon of chia seeds. I would say it's probably about a half a cup of yogurt, but I just like to like scoop three big scoops in each one because I don't like to do that many dishes when doing it. So I just try to use like the same spoon for everything. That part's just really easy to eyeball. And last but not least, you got your sweetener. Since I'm using unsweetened yogurt, sometimes we get like the honey yogurt from like Trader Joe's or something. So it's like already sweet. But since this one's unsweetened yogurt, I like to do like a little bit more, but typically I'd go like one tablespoon. So then you just mix everything up. And usually I'll just do this at nighttime. And then by the time it's like time to eat breakfast the next day, they are like the perfect texture, like so creamy, but like not too thick. I always like to add like extra toppings, like coconut flakes, seeds, 
just because I typically won't like eat like hemp seeds or like flax seeds on their own but I think just like adding it on top of here you don't taste it but you still get like all those good benefits and then also I feel like pairing these with like fruit is like such a must it just like changes it like it just makes it taste so much better because alone they're fine but I probably wouldn't just eat a whole like bowl of oats by itself like I definitely think the toppings is what ties everything together I feel like these are looking pretty good so I'm just gonna clean up pop everything in the fridge so I'm gonna have to make my breakfast for today I'm so excited to eat these tomorrow work for today and honestly today was not a bad remote work day which is so nice i think everyone's taking it easy after the long weekend so that's totally fine by me i am gonna go to the gym now i've just been kind of dreading it and i don't know if anyone else gets this way but like sometimes when there's like other people there like i get nervous or like i don't know there's just like a lot of things i'm like stopping myself mentally i guess like from going when i know it's like good for me and stuff but today i'm gonna be going no matter if there's people there or whatnot. Like the whole like me getting dressed and putting makeup on in the morning. I feel like having a cute little workout set will make me feel a lot more motivated to go because I'll be feeling good and you know, feeling cute about myself. So I'm gonna show you guys my set. I didn't get it just for today. I've had this set for like over a year, but I think it's still really cute and still in really good condition because you know, don't use it too much <laughs> but we're gonna change that just because it's halfway through the year i'm still able to reach my new year's goals so and one of them was to work out more so i'm gonna be trying starting today so i just have this like mocha brown set from lululemon i just think this mocha brown is like such a cute like color and as much as you guys know i love my pops of color i think just like a nice neutral set is like so cute i'm gonna change grab some water head over and hopefully i can still feel my legs afterwards <laughs> I'm attempting to get back into the 12, 3.30 or 12.33 um, on the treadmill and I got back up to 10 incline but I only did it for 20 minutes this time. I usually try to go for at least a mile so I hit that. I did the Stairmaster which is like it's so crazy because like the first minute of the Stairmaster, first like two minutes honestly is like oh yeah I got this and then all of a sudden I feel like it like it hits you in your legs and you're like I feel dead but I'm gonna finish a little more before workout. Then I'm gonna be heading home, running to the post office, doing a couple errands. The weather is so nice outside today. It It's like, like I said, it's like been so gloomy in the mornings, but like right now it's like so sunny. So I'm very tempted to go to the pool. We'll see if I actually do or not. Back into my fit girl era. <laughs> Cause baby love me. Outside. Can we just like climb up the mountain? No, no, no. 
This is actually kind of weird. How did the clouds actually get here? It was so sunny today.